We're going to use the Flowers of Friendship stamp set today. And I have to admit, I just recently got it. Yay, Michelle, you came back. Thanks. Um, I just recently got it. I saw it in the catalog and I loved these two flowers. So I thought, oh, do I or don't I? Well, I bit the bullet and bought it. And I thought, well, this is the perfect one for stamps, paper, and ink. So I used this stamp set and that's the card we're gonna do today. And it's hard to see, um, but I have added Wink of Stella. I've actually colored with the Wink of Stella on the um, flowers and the leaves. Uh, there it is. It's kind of hard to see. But, so that's what we're going to be doing. All right, now, when you're doing stamps, paper, and ink, you want to use as few supplies as possible. Oh, thanks, Carol. Um, if you're a beginning stamper or you're on a limited budget, you can't get tons of things to use. And it's like, how do you make pretty cards with limited supplies? So that was the whole purpose. Hey, Barb of using um, or starting this series is to show new stampers or beginning stampers you don't have to have a lot of supplies. Now I'm going to grab a scrap paper because I am going to be stamping off. So I'm going to put this down here and I'm going to create a background and this flower is perfect for a background. Um, that's the thing with just stamps, paper, and ink. Look at your stamps and see if you have one you could use to create a background. That one won't show up, so I'm not worried about it too much. So the first thing I did was I stamped my background with my stamp. I'm going to set that aside. Hey, Linda, yay, you came back. I'm going to set that aside and let it dry. Then I'm going to take a piece of white. All the measurements will be, hey, Deb, posted after I am finished. And I have the long stemmed flower from that set. And this is a, it's a nice flower. It's a pretty flower. It's great for, um, you know, a single image. But I wanted to show you that you can easily step it up. And hopefully I didn't smear that because it rocked on me. I didn't, yes. So I have my image stamped. Now, I'm going to pull in a block and I'm going to add some ink. And this is the Fresh Freesia, which is the color of the card base, and Soft Succulent. I thought these two colors were really pretty together. And I'm going to stamp some ink on the end of each of them. And did you know you can color with your Wink of Stella? And it leaves a really pretty um, shimmer as well as evenly spaces out the ink. And this is an inexpensive tool to have in your toolbox. And if you want it darker, you can get it darker. You just have to pick up more ink. So you're just going to color the, the flower with the Wink of Stella. And I have to admit, I like coloring with this better than the blender pen because you still have to be careful with that blender pen. Now, if you use glycerin, you're not as, it's not as bad, but who doesn't like sparkle? But look at that, isn't that pretty? And then you wanna make sure you clean off your wink of Stella, because um, your pen, because if not, you'll be mixing purple and green and you'll get mud. All right, now I'm gonna take some of the soft succulent and I'm gonna do my leaves. This would be a great card to mass produce if you needed, say, a lot of thank you cards or whatever. All right. 
And I'm just going to color in my leaves with the Wink of Stella. And I know you guys probably can't see it, but this is so sparkly and so pretty. And again, I'm going to clean off my pen because if, you, if not, you're going to have residual ink in there and it'll mess it up. So I've got it all cleaned off. I need to stamp my sentiment. And since there wasn't a lot of green, I went with the green and I needed some thank you cards. So that's what I'm doing. All right. Let me make sure that I've got this inked up. Yeah. And mine, I keep forgetting to turn my um, pads upside down. So consequently, I end up with two juicy pads. All right, I'm going to move this aside. And I wanted some interest behind it, so I pulled out a scrap. I'm going to pull this. It actually is a scrap. It was an offcut. Hey, Betty Ann, from when I cut down my card um, stock, you get like a half an inch left off. So I'm... I'm going to have to flip this. Sorry, i got to cover that up because it's not laying flat, and I'll have a mess if I don't. So I'm going to stamp this on here, and it's not centered. All right. I forgot to look at my stamp. I need to come down some because it's close to this edge here. And then I'm going to stamp the other one down here, and it doesn't matter if it's not exactly perfect in a line because by the time you put it behind that no one will ever see so now we're ready to put our card together i'm going to add some adhesive to the back of this put that out of the way before i drop something in it and this is centered side to uh, top to bottom there is it's the same as the side and then i'm going to put that on here and it is on flat. Well, I, there we go. So I'm going to add this on here. And you know what? I'm going to flip it around because your eye has a tendency to go this way. And see how there's not a whole lot on that side? I'm just going to move it over. All right. So I'm going to put it right about there. Okay, now we're going to take our image layer and we're going to add it to the back. Okay, somebody sent me a message. I hope it's not saying that I'm not live anymore. All right, I can't see this. Let me pull in my paper again. I don't want to put this down crooked. All right, and I used black because I wanted the colors to pop. So if you want your colors to pop, think of using black as a layer, and it will. All right, now I'm going to add a bunch of dimensionals all across the back of here, and I have a bunch cut, so I don't have to worry about it. I... um. These were actually left over from a paper pumpkin. Um, this one goes this way. And I just, it was a long piece from the paper pumpkin. I love the paper pumpkin for that reason. So I cut them apart and I'm gonna put a lot down here. Now, again, you don't have to use dimensionals. You can use Fun Foam and create a layer for the back of it. It's cheap. You can usually get it for like a dollar, two dollars for a 11 by 14 sheet. You can get a lot of cards out of that. Um, I just keep forgetting to use it. I get to creating and forget, but I do like it because it supports the whole card and 
I know we have adhesive sheets, but they're expensive if you're going to put it on a card, especially if you use big images like this, which I tend to do. All right, now I'm going to put this on. And there it is. Quick and easy. You want to step it up, you can add some gems. You could add some of the ribbon here 